So let's go over the core kit or core station itself first. So it has four door ports on it already. So you have door port zero, one, two, and three. So counterclockwise on the board here. Now on each door port, I'll just go over one, the one door port real quick for you. So over on door port three, we have the relay here, um, two inputs for your Rex and door position switch, uh, TTL out, um, which is two of them, that and Wigan. So that is if you're using a third party reader with our door port, with our core station, you can connect them to the door port and the outs would be to trigger the LEDs or the buzzers on the reader itself. And then we have 12 volt DC power out to the readers and then 45 connection at the top here. Now when using our Suprema readers, you wanna use a 45 connection and not the Wigan connection. So I'll go over that here in a minute. But um, as you can see also on each door port, we have large light, um, for when the relays trigger, you actually see that come on after a while when I get to that point, as well as lights for the supervisions when they're actually being triggered and violated. Now also on the board here at the bottom, we have the 12 volts DC coming into the unit, as well as a couple of auxiliary inputs, which you could wire a cabinet tamper to that. Um, so each, like I said, each door port is here and you have 40, four 45 connections on the board and at the very top, let me show you the top of the board here. We have another 45 connection, which is called the host connection, and then the Ethernet connection when connected to the LAN. All right, so zoom in here on door port three. As I've already went ahead and wired in a Rex button and a door contact as well. So we'll test those out here in a little bit. Um, now, when you wiring up the R2, let me just go over that real quick with you. The R2, this that's the front of it, the R2, bioentry R2, is a fingerprint reader. Just you present your finger here and card reader up here. Um, this is the power connection, 12 volt. And then, like I said, we'll use the 45 connection. That's for this one. And then the gray and black are 45 ground and shield um, in this application. All right, so go ahead and wire this in. And then I wanna take the shield at 45 ground and go to the ground and put as well, or the 12 volt ground. So all the grounds on the board are Sam Clary and have continuity between them. And now put the 12 volt positive in. And now with the Rex, I wired into port six and the door contact are wired into port seven. Um, now something to take note with any of our readers, no matter which model you're working with, there's a serial number here on the back of the unit. It's good to document that serial number before you mount them and document where you mount them because when you're inside Biostar 2, which is software used to add them in, um, you see them by serial number. So if you have multiple readers of the same model type, you can't necessarily tell where they're apart. So if you document it beforehand, just a best practice um, to do so. Um, I'll go ahead and we'll wire in, I have an X-Pass D2 Moyen style. I want to wire that into door port zero. And now this is the X Pass D2 Moyen. And now on the back of the unit, it has, it's sealed as far as the wire is going in. So this can be outdoor, um, it's outdoor rated, it can be mounted outdoors and so forth. While the R2 I just showed you, it has pigtails that can come out the back. It's for indoor use only. So with this pigtail here, a lot of people ask, oh, do we have an adapter for that to connect to it? No, we do not. So we just tell people cut it off completely or just cut off the wires you're going to use. This application, I'm going to be just using the 45 and power. 
So take the red and black for the 12 volt, snip them. And then same thing with the 45 connector. And once again, I have my Rex button, which are wired into input zero and a door contact into input one. So I'll go ahead at the top, I'm going to go ahead and plug my Ethernet connection in. And then at the bottom, I already pre-wired the uh, 12 volts coming in. So let's get that plugged in. Now we'll see the unit come on. Okay. 